Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Corpus Christi, the most holy body and blood of Christ, is the Christ mystery we celebrate today. The sacrament of the Eucharist, the greatest of all sacraments. The Eucharist is not just a symbol of Christ's special presence. It is not just a reminder of Christ's self-offering in the past. No, Jesus Christ is truly present in this sacrament. This is why St. Paul in today's second reading calls Holy Communion a participation in the body and blood of Christ. And this is why Jesus himself in today's gospel reading repeats six times that his flesh is real food and his blood is real drink. This wonderful mystery reveals how much God loves us. He loves us so much that he wants his own life to flow through our veins. He wants to accompany us always and everywhere until he leaves at home to be with him forever in heaven. Though we have sinned, Christ loves us too much to abandon us. He longs to stay with us, to walk with us, to share, redeem, to give meaning to every detail, to every encounter in our lives. But this is why Catholics still practice the ancient tradition of making frequent visits to the Eucharist throughout the day. Even in big cities today, when you, when you go into a Catholic church, you can almost always find someone kneeling before the altar where the tabernacle is kept. The red candle burning near the tabernacle, the sanctuary lamp, is a constant reminder that Christ is truly present there and his love is burning for us. This is also why Catholics still have the tradition of making the sign of the cross when they try by a Catholic church. Even if we don't have time to stop and make a visit to our Lord to thank him for his blessings and tell him all our needs and sorrows, by making the sign of the cross, we show our faith in an appreciation for his constant, miraculous presence. In today's busy and superficial culture, it is easy for us to lose our sense of wonder in the face of this awe-inspiring gift to take the mystery and miracle of the Eucharist for, the, for granted. But when we stop appreciating this heavenly food, we soon stop hungering for us, for, for it. We stop hungering more for wealth, pleasures, reputation, and success. But then our spiritual lives become weak and lack of nourishment and we give into temptations, wandering away from the Good Shepherd. 
Jesus doesn't want that to happen. He wants to stay as close to he, he wants to stay as close to him as he is to us. Because only he can bring a can bring a true lasting happiness. Only he can save us from sin and lead us to heaven. Today then, let's renew our faith in this great sacrament and let's renew our commitment to receive it in Holy Communion worthily, consciously, with desire. We can help ourselves do that in so many ways. For example, coming early to church so as to pray in silence before the Mass begins. Speaking only when we need to and in a quiet tone of voice while we are in church. Out of respect for the Eucharist and courtesy for those who are praying. Taking care with how we dress when we come to Sunday Mass, knowing that we are going to receive our King. And above all, making sure that we never come to Holy Communion without having first gone to confession if we have fallen into mortal sin. By going to confession, we end our sinful rebellions against God so that we can once again receive him worthily. And then when we do receive Holy Communion, with Christ inside us, we can speak to him about everything, following the advice of St. Francis the Sells. When you have received him, stir up your heart to do him homage. Speak to him about your spiritual life, gazing upon him in your soul where he is present for your happiness. Welcome him as warmly as possible and behave outwardly in such a way that your actions may give proof to all of his presence. Brothers and sisters, in just a few moments, Jesus will renew his commitment to us by offering himself in the Eucharist. When he does, let's also renew our commitment to him. And brothers and sisters, the spirit of the, of the Eucharist revival this weekend invites us to look at the total presence of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist through the words of Monsignor Frankenhurt. He said, in the Eucharist is all the power that created the universe and all the love that redeemed it. How total is the presence of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist? The church defines this presence as the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. This means all of him, he is totally there. His divinity was operative in the creation of the universe. And through Christ, the Father cre created all that is. His humanity joined with his divinity was the instrument for our redemption. Jesus suffered the crucifixion, death, and burial for, for love of us. And he rose from the dead to complete the plan of God in opening heaven for us. Because 
the Eucharist contains the whole Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity. It truly contains the power that created the universe and the love that redeemed it.